This video will show the method for determining moisture content of soil. This method allows for three different methods of drying the soil. One, using direct heat, such as a hot plate. Two, a drying oven. Or three, a microwave. You may find the test procedure in Materials IM 335. Equipment needed includes a scale or balance capable of weighing at least 5,000 grams, pans suitable for use with your drying method, and miscellaneous equipment such as spoons or spatulas. The pan should be first weighed empty and then it will be weighed with your soil sample. Your soil sample used for determining moisture content shall be at least 500 grams. To avoid moisture loss due to evaporation, you should weigh the material immediately after obtaining the sample. Also, avoid any excessive manipulation of the soil prior to weighing that could cause a loss of moisture. The next step of drying will depend on the drying method. For direct heat, a hot plate or electric or gas stove or burner may be used. To prevent overheating and to obtain an even heat distribution through your sample, you should stir and break up the sample. Continue heating and stirring until the specimen appears dry. To help determine when the soil appears dry, place a mirror over the sample. If the mirror fogs up, the sample is still losing moisture. If the mirror does not fog up, remove the sample from the heat source, weigh it, and record the data. Return the sample back to the heat source for several more minutes. Weigh the sample again until the soil has been dried to a constant mass. This is achieved when the change between the two consecutive mass determinations would have an insignificant effect on the calculated water content. A change of 0.1% or less of the initial wet mass of the soil should be acceptable for most specimens. For example, if your initial wet mass of the soil is 500 grams, 0.1% of 500 grams is 0.5 grams. So if your change is greater than 0.5 grams, then return the sample to the heat source and repeat as needed. Once the soil has reached a constant mass, use this final dry mass in calculating your water or moisture content. For drying soil using a microwave, you will need an additional item called a heat sink to absorb energy and prevent the specimen from overheating. An example of a heat sink would be a glass speaker with water. So you will place the soil sample and the heat sink in the microwave for three minutes. The initial and subsequent drying times may be adjusted depending on your soil type or microwave. You will remove the sample, weigh and record. Stir the soil, always taking care not to lose any of the soil. You will then return the sample back to the microwave for an additional minute. Remove the sample, weigh, and record. If the soil has achieved a constant mass as described previously, use this dry mass in calculating your moisture content. If the soil has not achieved a constant mass, return the sample to the microwave for another minute and repeat until the sample is dried to a constant mass. For drying soil using a drying oven, you will need an oven capable of heating continuously at a temperature of 230 degrees Fahrenheit, plus or minus nine degrees. Place the soil sample in a container overnight for at least 16 hours. After this time, remove the sample, weigh, and record. This final mass determination will be used in calculating your moisture content. 
After completion of this test, discard the cooked sample because cooked soil should never be used for any other tests.